Good evening, everybody, and uh, once again, welcome to the video. In the last video, I hope you enjoyed the project demo, and here today in this, we are going to do a hands on uh, lab. So, hopefully, you guys know what we are about to build. We are about to build this entire architecture, but this project is divided into two phases. The first phase will be up to uh, the kinesis analytics, so up to this part over here, and observe my mouse up to this part and then the further part that is the glue and upsetting into the hoodie will be the part two so the architecture is pretty straightforward uh, you know we are following a design pattern here uh, instead of more batch oriented approach we are going to follow streaming etl okay so we have two tables such as the order table and the customer table and again uh, these two tables are maintained by two different teams order team essentially has their own local database where they store order information uh, the customer team basically store the information in the customer database right locally and both of these teams are using DynamoDB assume they are using DynamoDB if they are using any other database you could essentially uh, stream those using Debezium or AWS DMS uh, now what we are going to do is basically we'll have these lambda function which are going to do a pre-processing which means they are going to take the data from the Dynamo cleanse it flatten it and essentially insert into the Kinesis stream here we'll have two separate stream. One is the uh, order stream and the second is the customer stream. And once the data is pumped into the individual stream, we're gonna use Apache Flink. We're gonna join these two. Uh, um, basically, we're gonna join the data uh, using Flink. Again, this is streaming data, right? And then we're gonna insert the stitch version into the next Kinesis stream. So that's the first part. And the next part, basically, we're gonna connect the glue uh, and perform upsort into S3. So this is the entire project. So uh, pretty straightforward, right? So if you come to the project directory, you will find a serverless.yml file. And here you can see these are the two Lambda functions, right? Customer and order. Again, the code for them is very, very straightforward. Again, pretty straightforward. Here you have a hand handler function. And for each record, what we do is basically we check if the record is insert, update or delete. We grab the JSON and basically we serialize the JSON and then essentially insert into the Kinesis stream. Again, each Lambda is responsible for inserting data into its own Kinesis stream, okay? So this is again pre-processing. The job is to flatten out complex, um, uh, you know, complex uh, attributes and uh, clean the data, okay? So again, these are the two Lambda functions in, in, the, in the infrastructure and here you can see the resource. Here you can see I have a DynamoDB table. Again, very simple. This is the customer DynamoDB table. Uh, here is a Kinesis data stream. This is a customer Kinesis data stream. Uh, retention would be for 24 hours and using one shard here. Similarly here, we have the order uh, DynamoDB. Then we have the order uh, Kinesis stream. And then here is the output stream, which means uh, after per performing certain action, we're gonna join the data and essentially uh, output it to the next Kinesis stream. So hopefully the infrastructure code should make sense. Uh, again, pretty straightforward over here. Now, uh, I'm also in the process of writing a complete uh, article. So all the steps will be listed there as well. So the first step in the process is we need to deploy this entire stack and I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, come to the project directory and come to the folder called infrastructure and then you wanna say npx sls. Uh, deploy. So the stack is gonna be deployed. I'm gonna wait and resume back once the stack is deployed. So my stack is deployed, that's great. And now let's go to the AWS and verify everything. So now if you observe the DynamoDB table, I have two uh, tables that is customer and order. I have three Kinesis stream that is customer order and uh, order customer stitch, which means uh, it's gonna, the Apache Flink is gonna stitch the data from the two of them, right? In the Lambda section, I should see two Lambda function, order and the customer. Again, uh, this is for the DynamoDB order table. This is for the DynamoDB customer table. If you observe here, as you can see, you, you'll be able to see a trigger, right? And uh, here it is attached to that table. So step one is great. We have the infrastructure, right? So now basically what we have done, if you see the architecture is, we have these two DynamoDB table, which are again, uh, two separate team are working, right? So these are two DynamoDB table, two Lambda functions, two Kinesis stream and one output stream. Now we are gonna start working with Apache Flink, okay? Since we have the stack up and running, now it's uh, basically time to spin up the Kinesis, um, basically Apache Flink, right? So first we need to create a glue database for here. I'm gonna come here and say, uh, let's call this StreamDB. Okay, and then click on create database. So I have a glue database at this point and now I'm gonna create a Kinesis Flink application. 
So under the kinesis section, I'm gonna go to the analytics, analytics, and then on the studio section, and then create notebook. Here I'm gonna use a quick, uh, quick start, right? I'm gonna type the name, and then here I'm gonna select my database, and after that I'm gonna click on create. Now this might take about uh, about uh, roughly about three to four minutes, so I'm gonna resume once this is complete. As you can see, now it's in the ready state. Now I'm gonna click on the run section. So click on run. Now wait for this to complete. Once this is ready, then we're gonna open up our Apache Zeppelin notebook. The notebook is finally ready and now you can click on open uh, Zeppelin notebook and then here what you can do is basically create a new note and then you can say KDA and then create. So now uh, our notebook is fully ready at this point and now what we're gonna do is basically insert certain data into Dynamo and then what we anticipate is the Lambda should pre-process that and essentially insert into the Kinesis tree. Once we see all of that working, then we're gonna go into the Apache Flink, stitch the data and then essentially insert into the output stream. So come to the file called DynamoDB insert.py and here you can see I have written all the code for you so you don't have to worry. So now this will basically insert into the order table, sleep for a while and then essentially insert into the customer. So basically the events are going into different 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 DynamoDB tables at a different time, okay? So now let's basically insert this and see what happens. So I'm gonna insert the record. Here you can see insert it into the order table, going to the sleep and then insert it into the customer table. So now if I come in and hopefully, I, as you can see here, order ID, right? I have a customer ID, order value, priority, right? And then if I come to the customer table, I should see uh, the information here. If you don't see, as you can see here, right? So at this point, what I anticipate, pretty fast, right? At this point, the data went into Dynamo, the preprocessor Lambda processed it, and I should see that in the Kinesis. So that's the uh, Kinesis part. I'm gonna go to the data stream and here, customer stream and the order stream. If I go to the customer stream, if I go to the data viewer and select my shard and do trim horizon, and here you can see that data did come indeed here, right? So this is the data from DynamoDB flattened perfectly. Great, absolutely fantastic. And now let me just verify the order one as well. So I'm gonna go to the order stream, go to the data viewer, again, shard zero, trim horizon, get records. And here you can see both the data came perfectly fine. At this point, you have done a fantastic job. Now the only part is left is you gotta take the data from both the stream, join stitch, and essentially put into the next output stream. For that, we're gonna use Apache Flink. The next part is, part is, as I said, right, we have the data in the two stream, we need to join, we're gonna use Apache Flink for that. So I'm gonna explain you for one of them, the rest of them are pretty straightforward. Here, as you can see, I'm creating a table called TBL orders, right? And then here I'm defining all the columns that I have in my DynamoDB, and essentially here I'm using the Kinesis connector. And again, the same step follows for all the, all the tables that I have here. So I'm gonna take this, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna execute this uh, uh, over here. So if you observe here, the cell is being executed. Now it's gonna drop the table and then again, recreate those table. At this point, what, what's gonna happen is basically if you head over to AWS Glue and if you go to the uh, table section, you should see three tables being created. Now basically we are gonna join the two Kinesis stream, um, basically we in tables, right? And essentially try to see that in the Zeppelin notebook. Now here is the command, right? I'm selecting certain column from uh, order table and the customer table and I'm doing a join. At this point, this is near real time as, I'm, 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 as, 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 as I said, right? Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna run my Python file. Uh, again, the Python file is dynamodb insert.py. Now what's gonna happen is as soon as I insert, uh, if I can actually show you this, uh, need to come here, okay. So observe this, as soon as I'm gonna insert, uh, again, uh, once the data is there in both the tables, so again, we insert it into the order table, sleeping, and then into the customer table. And near real time, we are getting the, the data into um, uh, uh, data here. Again, the data was there in two different tables, right? We are essentially joining two Kinesis stream, and again, we are getting the data. Great job, guys, fantastic. Now, the only thing left is we have to write the query to insert into the next output stream. So it's pretty straightforward at this point. Again, uh, I have my select query over here and all I'm saying is insert into the order customer stitch. Again, this is a table that we created prior, right? So if I quickly show you, or if I basically just scroll up here, you can see we did make this table, right? And this is a Kinesis stream, right? There's a stream called order customer stitched. So I'm gonna run the cell, okay? So I'm gonna execute the cell. Now again, this is gonna run. Now what's gonna happen is as soon as I insert now a new record, into Dynamo, Lambda pre-processes, into Kinesis, then the Flink processes, stitch the data and into the output stream. Let's see this in action. So back to my screen, I'm gonna go to the DynamoDB. 
again this this all happens pretty fast as i said right now i'm inserting a record here okay now what i'm gonna show you'll not see in the console now but what i'm gonna show you is basically uh if i go back to my kinesis at this point data stream and if i see the order customer stitch output stream right if i go to data viewer here and if i do trim horizon get records should be getting a record soon uh, if everything worked fine uh, let me insert one more just in case so inserting one more record and just making sure that this didn't fail okay looks good so at this point uh, what i'm gonna do is again i'm gonna try shard zero trim horizon and there you go guys fantastic we got the we got the data again we have stitched the data successfully from the both the dynamo db tables so if i quickly show you and this is phenomenal like because look at it all of this is happening at near real time right so the order data right so if you observe that's the order id right so if i quickly show you if i go to the uh, dev dot order and if i basically try to show you basically try to query this if i run this and again as you can see we have an uh, data in the order table and then we have the appropriate data in the customer what happened is basically we insert into dynamo the lambda did the pre-processing next into the kinesis stream then we joined it, the data using apache flink and then into the next output stream from here the glue job can take it over and we can take the data from the curated stream and essentially perform an upsort into the uh, apache holy data lakes that's gonna be the next part and i hope you have enjoyed this entire project uh, please make sure to please please try this out because Again, a lot of things are involved, right? Lambda, DynamoDB streams, Kinesis, uh, Apache Flink. Uh, this will really, uh, you know, uh, improve your concepts and skills in the area of streaming, streaming processing, basically. So I hope you have enjoyed the entire project. With that being said, a simple like would be really, really great. And if you have any more questions, list a question in the comment section and on the GitHub and on my LinkedIn. I'll essentially put a brief description, uh, basically, which will have everything given step by step. So in, in case if you didn't follow something on the video, you can refer the text based guide. Thank you so much. Keep smiling. I'll see you in the next video.